Hey guys, it's story time. And I, Biggie's here with me this morning. Biggie, say hi. Biggie, say hi. Yeah. Well, Biggie and I were taking a walk today. And we saw a huge spider. This type of spider that we saw is called a wolf spider. It's a nice spider. It's good for gardens. It eats kind of the bad bugs. Um, but I still was a little bit scared of it. So this morning I picked a book called Spiders and Their Webs. Okay, so this is another nonfiction book. This is a science book. It's going to teach us real life things. It's not a story. <clears throat> so let's see what we can learn about spiders. Spiders and Their Webs. All right, here's the title page. This book is written by Linda Tagliaferro. Ooh, that's a long last name. Ooh, this is interesting. This page is called a table of contents, and it lists all the things we're going to learn about, and then it tells you what page you can find that on. So if we want to learn about webs, we can find it on page four. If we want to learn about... Um, egg sacs, how they have babies, we can find that on page 14. Pretty cool, huh? Well, we're going to read the whole thing, so here we go. <clears throat> webs. Spiders build webs on plants, rocks, and buildings. Spiders are arachnids. That means they have eight legs and two body sections. So spiders are not insects. They are arachnids. That means they have two parts of their bodies and eight legs. <clears throat> There's a little arrow here at the bottom and it says orb weaver spider. This kind of spider is called an orb weaver spider. I think it's called an orb weaver because it's Web looks like an orb or kind of a circular shape. <clears throat> Spiders build their webs with strings of silk. Spiders make silk in their bodies. So you can see the silk coming out. That's what they make inside their bodies and use to spin their webs. Here's a little arrow again. It's going to tell us what kind of spider this is. This spider is called a black widow spider. You can tell it's a black widow spider because it has this little red piece and a big round um, torso. <clears throat> a black widow is one of the most poisonous spiders. So if you ever see one, stay away. Some spiders weave webs in circles like this one. This is the orb web like we saw with the orb weaver spider. Some spiders weave webs in flat sheets. Some spiders weave webs with silk strings in all directions. And some spiders do not build webs. Interesting. All right, so this is called an orb web. It's so pretty, look. It almost looks like someone sewed it. Some spiders <clears throat> live in the same web for a long time, but some spiders make new webs every day. These spiders work for about one hour to build a web. All right, so let's look at this spider. This spider has a different kind of web. It looks like it's kind of going all around him. This is called a funnel web spider. He's a little bit bigger. Interesting. He lives in the inside of his web. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Catching insects. Okay, so we're, we've moved on from webs. We're going to learn about how spiders catch insects to eat. Spiders catch insects to eat. The sticky webs trap insects. Spiders do not stick to their webs. Okay, that's interesting. So insects stick to their webs, but the spiders don't get stuck in their webs. All right, let's see. This is another orb weaver spider. 
and it looks like he caught a yellow jacket and all this white stuff is his silk that he wrapped around it. <clears throat> all right, egg sacs. Okay, so we're gonna learn about how spiders um, hatch their eggs. Female spiders also use silk to make egg sacs. They lay eggs inside the sacs. Some spiders lay two eggs. Other spiders lay a thousand eggs. Okay, so not only do spiders use their silk to build webs, but some of them, the female spiders or the girl spiders, use their silk to build a protective sack around their eggs so nothing happens to them. Can you imagine having a thousand eggs? Wow. Spiders carry or hide their silk egg sacs. Hungry animals cannot find the egg sacs. Okay, so like this spider, this white thing, that's called an egg sac. So inside of there, all the eggs are stored in there and they're so tiny. And this mom carries her egg sac, but other spiders um, hide their egg sacs so that nothing can eat them. All right, this kind of spider is called a huntsman spider. Let's make sure he has eight legs. Let's see, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how I know he's a spider. <clears throat> Spiderlings hatch from the egg sac. Spiderlings use silk to float through the air. Spiderlings find a new place to build their own webs. So these are the teeny tiny baby spiders and they all have silk coming out and they float, float, float. And they go off by themselves to build their own webs. Look at all of those babies. A good home. Different kinds of spiders build different kinds of webs. No two webs are the same. Okay, so this is another funnel web spider. Um, with his little, he's got a little circle in the middle and all around out here is where the bugs get caught. Like you can see a little bug caught right there. The end. Pretty cool. And then this part's called a glossary. It tells us all the words that we learned in the story. Let's see, arachnid, we learned that word. That means uh, an animal with eight legs and two body parts. An egg sac is the small holder for the spider's eggs that they make out of silk. Um, we learned the word silk, a string made by spiders to build webs, homes, and egg sacs. We learned the word spiderlings, which means a young spider or baby spider. And um, those were all the words that we learned in the, in the story today. So think about... Um, any spiders that you've seen before. Have you ever seen a spider's web? I wonder if it looked more like this, the funnel weaver, or if it looked more like this, the orb weaver. Hmm. We'll have to keep our eyes open when we're outside and look for these different kinds of webs. I hope you guys learned something really cool about spiders. And I love you so much, and I'll be back for another book tomorrow.